Hi, people. You know, I've observed something very common among students. They have this tendency to underestimate set theory when it comes to J advanced exam. But you know what? This question that you can see here on the screen right now is a brilliant question that has been asked in the very latest J Advanced 2022 exam. It's a highly scoring question. Very easily it can be solved using Venn diagram and the standard formulas for cardinality of sets. Let's quickly attack it. So here it says, a data of 900 persons was collected. Apart from that, you can see a lot of numbers are written. So number of persons who have symptoms of fever, cough, breathing problem, and so on. 30 persons have all the three symptoms of fever, cough, and breathing problems. If a person is chosen randomly from these 900 persons, then the probability that that person has at most one symptom. Now, at most one symptom means either no symptom or exactly one system. The best way is to convert this entire setup in Venn diagram. So here I have my rectangle representing the universal set and within it I have three circles, one each for fever, cough and breathing problem. So F, C and B respectively. You can see 30 is written in the region which is common to all three of them, representing what? That 30 members have fever as well as cough as well as the breathing problems. Now, first things first, okay, what are you given? You are given that 330 persons have symptoms of fever or cough or both. So at once, we will just consider two at a time. Let's start with fever and cough. What is given to you that number of members in fever union cuff is actually 330. That means if I have to use the formula, this says number of members in F plus number of members in C minus number of members in F intersection C is what is 330. Now people having fever is already given to you as 190. People having cough again is already given to you as 220. Minus number of members having both fever and cough is 330. From this equation, you can very easily obtain the number of members having fever as well as cough to be 80. Now, the moment you know that this part consists of 80 persons out of which 30 I will remove and I will be left with 50 over here. Understood? Exactly in the same manner, if you observe the next uh, two lines, what is written? 350 people have symptoms of cough or breathing or both. So now I will consider cough and breathing. So C and B, these two circles. And again, I will perform the exact same exercise. I am given number of members in cough union breathing problem to be equal to 350. Individually, I know that C consists of 220 members, B consists of 220 members. So I can actually again use the same formula for number of members in C union B to be number of members in C plus number of members in B minus number of members in C intersection B. Fill up the values and from there get the number of members in C interse intersection B to be 90. So number of members having cuff as well as breathing problems both is 90. Out of which, out of which, so this part is basically what is 90. Out of which 30 is already occupied, so 90 minus 30 will give you 60 here. Got it? And exactly in the same manner, look at the next line, it says 340 persons have symptoms of fever or breathing problems or both. So basically F intersection B has how many members? Again, you will replicate the same process and find out that it has 70 members out of which again 30 has been used. So you're left with 40. Once you are filled up with 50, 40, 60, 30 was already given to you. Please realize if I add up 50 and 30, it gives me 80 plus 60 gives me 140. Out of 220, when I remove 140, I'm left with 80. That means 80 persons have only and only cuff problems. Okay, so exactly one problem, that is the cuff problem. Similarly, if you add up 40, 30 and 60 and subtract it from 220, you will be left with 90. What does this imply? That 90 persons have only one problem, which is the breathing problem. 
and exactly in the same manner when you add up 50 30 and 40 and subtract it from 190 you will get 70 thereby implying that 70 people have exactly one problem or rather symptoms of just one problem which is fever this makes me fill up all the three circles with all the regions i have a smile on my face because i'm very very close to my answer the question says, what is the probability that the person has at most one, system, one symptom? Now, at most one symptom, I explained you either no symptom or exactly one symptom. So exactly one symptom means exactly fever or exactly breathing problem or just cough, which means 80 plus 70 plus 90, right? 80 plus 70 plus 90 but in this number I will also have to add the number of persons having none of these three problems which means universal set minus the union of these three circles so the universal set had how many members 900 from it I will subtract what 70 plus 50 plus 30 plus 40 plus 80 plus 60 plus 90 this is what I will subtract and I will be left with 480 Okay, so in my 70 plus 80 plus 90, which means some of persons having only fever symptoms, only cough symptoms, only breathing problem symptoms, in this number I will add 480 because 480, they have no symptoms. So this is representing the total number of people having at most one symptom. So this is my total number of favorable outcomes. This I will divide by what? It's coming out to be 720. This I will divide by the total number of outcomes, which means the total number of members, that is 900. So 720 by 900 will give me my exact probability. That is 4 by 5, that is 0.8, guys. So this was a very nice question, definitely must do question. And this question is actually a reminder that you better start taking sets seriously. Because if you get questions like these, you should be able to kill them and smash them completely, isn't it?